What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and tonight we're going to be talking about the huge expansion to COD 2.0 that's releasing early, new cross progression, and even more, definitely stay tuned, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and let me know down below in the comment section, how are you guys feeling about Ashika Island over for Warzone 2 Resurgence, are you enjoying it a little bit more than Rebirth from Warzone 1, I know I've had a ton of fun playing this map over the last couple of days, the map feels smaller than Rebirth, but it's really not, and the gameplay does feel more action packed and super fast paced, maybe it's because of all the quality of life changes that Warzone 2 just got on February 15th, and for the reason that Resurgence wasn't in Warzone 2 until just a couple of days ago, it just feels like this is some of the fastest COD BR we've ever seen. Faster than Blackout, faster than Warzone 1. I'm really having a good time with this one, but we definitely have a lot to get through here today when it comes to the big expansion of Modern Warfare 2 that may spark your interest. And also be sure to check out DamnMods.com for the safest Modern Warfare 2 services such as assistance with Orion Camo or even bot lobbies. This works on all platforms, PlayStation, Xbox, and even PC, and is trusted by thousands of customers. You can even get help with nuke services since getting 5 wins in Warzone isn't an easy task, let alone getting the contract done in your 6th match. Now you can use coupon code BOMB to get $100 off any order. Trustpilot also has some excellent reviews for Damn Mods, which you can check out with the link down below in this video's description. So just a couple of days ago, it was tweeted out by Warzone Mobile that patience pays off. They're finally ready to announce some exciting news. As many have realized, aspects of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 updates are interconnected and shared with Warzone Mobile. That means our next update is dropping soon as well. Keep an eye out for more info. So I wonder if the statement means anything more than what it looks like at face value. Does this kind of mean that with every major update to Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, we'll just get some of the content from both of those games put into on mobile, even though a lot of us interpreted from the COD Next reveal that everything that gets added to Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 will also be available via Warzone Mobile, whether it's the operator skins, the weapons, battle pass progression. I wonder if they're slowly walking back on that a little bit just to ensure that nothing gets too messy in the future where they just can't add certain things to mobile for whatever the reason is, or if this was already the plan from day one, which was to just release some aspects of both of those games, not everything. Let me know how you guys have interpreted this down below in the comments, but we then got some serious patch notes for Warzone Mobile that, again, only apply to certain regions right now that have access to Warzone Mobile, like Australia, but bear with me for a bit, because it's going to get real interesting. So, as they said, content additions, we have the new Season 2 Battle Pass with the Ronin Operator, and weapons like the ISO Hemlock, KV Broadside, and the Dual Kadachis. Again, all three of those weapons are available right now in COD 2.0. We then have the new Field Upgrades, Portable Radar, and Suppression Rounds, as well as an update to the Gunsmith with Progression now available. So for those out there that want to keep leveling up your weapons and making certain classes and doing certain things with the customization options, you can now do that in Warzone Mobile as you would in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. General updates do include improved message of the day functionality, improved compiling shaders functionality, removed iOS device compatibility for those previously unable to play matches, updated the new player experience, weapon rarity visual updates, new in-game player support systems, new language options, Spanish and French, hit detection improvements, option added to play again with the same team after a BR match, and the after action report has been updated to accommodate new features and even progression, but still to come, new missions, weapon based challenges, combat records, new bundles, new MP and BR playlist, more settings options, and new limited release regions. So I am wondering though, since the game isn't available worldwide just yet, it will be in the next couple of months, does this also mean that whenever a new season drops for MW2 or Warzone 2, will some of that content be available day one for Warzone Mobile, then the rest of it that they have planned doesn't end up coming out for another couple of weeks by the time maybe the mid-season update rolls around. I am hoping that at some point, maybe by season three or four, we start seeing a new season drop on one day and all the contents promised for that season drop the same day for Warzone Mobile as well. And then let's say something's being saved for season three reloaded for MW2. Then that content on that day would become playable for Warzone Mobile as well. I'm really holding out hope that there is very strong synchronization between all three games to where, for example, a new bundle comes out on a certain day and then Warzone Mobile also gets that update on the same day. Or when a new battle pass, operator, weapon comes out, Warzone Mobile sees that content fairly quickly because if that's not the case and Warzone Mobile is always lagging behind, it'll kind of throw a wrench into the whole idea that right now there's very strong cross progression between all three of these games and that this is a new era for Call of Duty. I just hope all development teams are on the same page so that things do come out at around the same time. 
but I'm honestly surprised we got this much marketing for Warzone Mobile despite the game not being available in many or just about every other region out there aside from Australia. They ended up dropping a small Season 2 roadmap for the new continents also dropping where they mentioned for multiplayer they've added hardpoint, they've added two field upgrades to BR, four weapons as of right now, and then of course the Season Pass. I think they meant Battle Pass, but maybe it was a typo. And then for new features, again, Gunsmith Weapon Progression, Season Progression, and After Action Report Updates. I was honestly thinking that with future roadmaps we get for Modern Warfare 2 or any other Call of Duty that comes out eventually, a part of COD 2.0, that we would end up seeing a couple of boxes on the roadmap just for Warzone Mobile, or some mention that, yeah, Warzone Mobile is also getting a lot of the content on the big roadmap, but I guess they just couldn't fit that all into the Season 2 roadmap right now, so Warzone Mobile will probably end up getting its own individual roadmaps like COD Mobile gets, even though COD Mobile is not connected in any way to the COD 2.0 system. But obviously, when they said still to come new limited release regions, that does mean that the full global launch isn't really coming that soon since they're planning on doing new limited release regions next. I'd hope that the full global launch is mid to late spring, not any later than that because I was hoping for Warzone Mobile to come out while Mono for 2 is in its full glory, while it's in its prime, but at this rate, it's not looking likely. But somebody out there tweeted Warzone Mobile, what's going on with the new regions that they mentioned in this little roadmap here and they replied, yes we will, but we will still have to wait just a bit longer. That news is coming though, promise. So there's that comment and then over in the Discord server for Warzone Mobile, some official devs did say, we'll just say it's unlikely we would do a limited release region in anywhere with a massive number of players. It would kind of ruin the point. Nothing is completely impossible, though, and there might be other reasons to potentially do it in somewhere like India or North America. Obviously, two massive regions that everybody out there is asking about since there's probably the most amount of players in those regions that want to play Warzone Mobile. And I do think they might do maybe a very small window limited release for North America or India that doesn't last as long as the Australia window has but let's hold out hope. I mean, considering they just dropped all the Season 2 content in the game, clearly they're ready to do big things with it, but for some reason, the game just isn't quite ready yet. Obviously, you have a placeholder release date according to the App Store as to when this game should be fully available, but that's probably just a placeholder. It doesn't mean very much. However, it could be a possible launch date that would be right after Season 2 Reloaded for Modern Warfare 2. Now, I'm also hearing word that Russia apparently has been added to the limited release window here for Warzone Mobile. So apparently, if you connect to Russia servers, then clear Play Store data, go to Chrome, then search Warzone Mobile, click on the link, you will get an install option. So again, this is for Android devices that run the Google Play Store. I'm not sure how this really makes sense, considering the conflict going on around the world right now with Russia. I'm surprised that they've been given an option to do this. It might just be a bug, but if you guys are in Russia and you want to play Warzone Mobile, this could be an option for you if you have this certain device. But with that, I would certainly hope you get more news about other limited release regions in the next couple of weeks, hopefully much before Season 3, which is scheduled to start on April the 11th. Now, I've also seen the question, right, can you use a VPN to play Warzone Mobile? And apparently that question has been answered. So according to this Twitter user, Warzone Mobile did a clever job stopping people from accessing the game using VPN. Unless you have a VPN that gives less than 200 ping, you can't play the game by yourself. You can party with someone who has less than 200 ping, but if you use quick VPN as this guy did, it just won't let you go in if you have over 200. So there's something that I know a lot of people out there were asking about, including myself. I'm like, wait a second, why can't we just connect to Australia via VPN and play Warzone Mobile? mobile right now and you just can't do that but as a big reminder too for those out there that are like DK I don't care about mobile I just want to play Modern Warfare 2 I want that game to get more 6v6 content or I just care about Warzone 2 on console or PC I get where you're coming from but I'll be covering Warzone Mobile a lot here on the channel as it makes sense it's not only interconnected with MW2 and Warzone 2 but it's important to know that if you guys want to grind a couple of camels level up some guns while you're on the go and away from your controller or your PC you can do that on your phone by playing the small limited limited multiplayer mode that's in that game that offers a couple of maps. It offers some game modes that allow you to grind camos as much as you'd like. That's the purpose of the multiplayer side of things on this mobile version, but then being able to play Verdansk and Rebirth again, which you can't do anymore on Warzone 1, that's also a big plus, which I want to cover as much as I can because I enjoyed Warzone 1 for what it was, and it's sad to see that right now, all you can do on Warzone 1's app is play Caldera, which is a very poorly received map for most of the community. And I do wonder if every vaulted Warzone map, such as Fortune's Keep, will also just get added to Warzone Mobile in the future, then let's say one day Almazra gets removed, or Sheikah Island, you might also see those maps added to Warzone Mobile, but whatever maps stay playable on console or PC just won't be on Warzone Mobile for whatever reason to probably avoid the conversation of, well, what about some cross-play options where you can play the same Warzone map on mobile and PC and console? That probably isn't something that COD 2.0 is suited for. That technology probably doesn't exist yet for Activision specifically. I know other games have done it, whether it's Fortnite, whether it's Apex, but I don't 
don't think COD is at that stage just yet. Hopefully we see that at some point during COD 2.0's life cycle, but maybe that's something for COD 3.0 at some point five plus years from now where you can play on any device that you like. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. How are you feeling about the beginning of this cross progression and crossover between COD 2.0 and Warzone Mobile? What are your thoughts on new limited release regions coming soon and everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody. Yeah.